Engine DJ drops their 3.0 update for desktop and OS. Let's go. What's up, my fearless friend, Shay Sean Fan? I'm McPherson, back to you with another Gear and Gadgets, where I like to talk tech, gear, and apparel for musicians, DJs, and artists alike. Today, we're getting into some DJ stuff. Engine OS DJ drops their 3.0 update, and there's a lot to unpack. But first, let's download it. It's a small update, but there's two very powerful things in this update along with bug fixes. The new feature that's on the engine desktop is called Engine Remote Library. What's so cool about it is you don't have to unplug a drive anymore and plug it into your hardware like the Prime Go. As long as both your computer and the Prime Go are on the same Wi-Fi network, you can access your music and you know fix cue points, and do a lot of editing to the beat grid and uh, playlists that will go real time over into the computer and back from the computer into the hardware. Some improvements and fixes, they improve the sync manager mechanism for calculating playlists and track differences between two drives. They fix sync manager issues that left a child playlist checked even when the parent playlist was unchecked. They fixed a crash that could occur during bulk analysis. They fixed an issue where manually relocating the same track could trigger different lengths and warnings due to rounding of track length after analysis. They fixed a crash that could occur when using a specific type of Bluetooth headphones. And there's other various stability enhancements and improvements that they don't really specify. And this engine desktop software is for Mac and PC. I would suggest you download it right now if you're in the Engine DJ family. So over on the Engine OS side, these are some of the new features. Drop Sampler. Introducing the first built-in sampler for standalone DJ systems and media players. So I don't even think it's ever been done before where you have samples inside a standalone system. The sampler pad mode is really cool because... Uh, First off, they give you a heads up where you can see your samples and cues all on the pad. It's on the top of the double view where you see your waveforms and such. The way you get to these samples is by pressing shift and bank. Then you'll see it switch and you'll see the names of the samples that you can play, you know, like a foghorn, the infamous. What else is cool is the sampler volume can be controlled from the main menu screen and you can turn off whether or not you want to see your pads in the top view on the engine prime go at least you also can go right into your samples and choose from a, a list and bring them over and just play the sample you know whenever you want to play it and by putting it on the deck one of the decks so like i said on the desktop os there's a wi-fi feature where you can link the two and edit, and it'll go to both of them as long as they're on the same Wi-Fi. Sampler content. In addition to sampler, all engine DJ devices now include a broad section of preloaded samples. Samples include complete drum kits, scratch phrases, risers, impact hits, and other various effects. The performance pad heads-up display, which is very cool, and you can affect that in the main menu view. You can turn it off or on, and that's also where you turn up the sample's volume or not. Improvements and fixes. They fixed an issue where a Wi-Fi input-output error dialog was displayed in some scenarios. In the event that an engine DJ hardware device fails to boot because of an unable-to-create-local storage error, the error dialog now offers a factory reset button to resolve the issue. 
They fixed an issue with changing the effect via FX select knob without pressing the knob to confirm will result in an effect off on state showing up incorrectly on the SC Live 2 and 4. And of course, other stability enhancements and improvements. So it's a pretty small update, but they put some quality stuff in it. And the download is for the SC Live 2, the SC Live 4, Mixstream Pro Plus, Mixstream Pro, Prime 4, Prime Go, Prime 2, SC6000 Prime, SC6000M Prime, SC5000 Prime, and the SC5000M Prime on Windows, Mac, and other standalone devices. So once again, I'm Shay Sean Phantom McPherson. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Make sure you keep coming by because I'm mixing it up in 2023 from my musician side to my DJ side and my rapping side. So you'll start seeing videos from all over and just the gear that I wear when I'm on the road or you want to just make an impression as an artist. Don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me. I'm 19 people away from 1,000. Help me get there. I'll give away like a fan nun hat or something. Once again, I'm Shay Sean Fan, I'm McPherson. Peace.